Tom, and today I'm talking about a Chrome extension that I really enjoy. And if you like auto hotkeys, there's a good chance you'll like this too. Now, with auto hotkeys, a lot of people use what's known as hot strings. If you don't know what that is, it's basically it's watching for when you type in a string of words or a sentence and it detects that and it auto replaces it with a script or whatever. Now, in auto hotkeys, it's nice because it can work in any program, but let's say you only really need it in Chrome. The reason I can find this beneficial over auto hotkeys is you don't need to know coding at all. Not that hot strings are hard or anything, but if your company wants to sit here and let everybody use it, this would probably be a better way versus creating hot strings for every single department or whatever. You know, it's going to create a lot of coding work on your end, even though it's easy. You could be at a big company. This is a way where you could say, hey, create your own. And this way, if they want to add their own versus using only what you code it, it's going to be more flexibility for your business is my viewpoint on it. You know, if you see other viewpoints on it, that's fine. Uh, to each his own, <laughs> you can let me know in the comments below. But this is the website where we're going to get the extension. Um, you're not going through the Chrome store. You're going through their actual website. And so obviously this will be in the URL down below. And right here is a blue button. It Mine says go to dashboard, but for you, it's gonna have the download there. I already have a download, so there's not much. Uh, it's gonna change what it looks like. <clears throat> so yeah, download it. It'll appear up here like any icon or uh, extension. So here's kind of the easy thing. And if you don't see it there, it's because it's not pinned. It'll be in here, I have mine pinned. So you just do that. So let's take a look at our dashboard first. So the dashboard is basically just a bigger version of this with a little bit more detail and flexibility. Uh, one thing I do want to point out real quick is their pricing. They do have the free version, which is what I'm using, and you can do up to 20 hot strings, or as they call them, snippets. I mean, with 20, I'm fine with that. Every single person who gets it, you know, even in a company, it should be fine with 20, but if not, you know, and you need to go pro, well, hopefully your company is going to pay for that, not you, <clears throat> or even the entrepreneur one. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm happy with the basic one. I, I, I don't really have a lot of hot strings that I'm using just in Chrome, you know, everything. If I do, I have other programs that, uh, outside of Chrome for specific programs. So yeah, uh, so I just want to point that out. There is a free version, but just so you know, in case you need to upgrade... Talk to your company. Don't pay for that. Don't dish it out if your company is using it. So here, as you can see, I got my uh, login, which is just under Tab Nation. Uh, so I have one snippet. Snippet. So I can click that, and basically here is what it is. I gave it a label, so just a title, and that shows up over here. Uh, then I have what my actual hot string is going to be, or as they call it, a shortcut. So I'm just doing slash YTD, and that just stands for YouTube description. Then down here, what do I want it to have? So when I type this in, it will replace it with all this information or more. You know, you can make them pretty long. Now you can do some cool stuff too automatically, like I said, without knowing coding. Let's say in this email or the description, I want uh, my date and time just so that you all can see. And you got a bunch of options, which is nice. Uh, so let's say I just want to put what year I sent or did this so I know what year the video was in. Now, it doesn't show 2023, but it will. That's just there. There's a bunch of options here. Now, some of them are for pros. Now, a cool one is uh, you got click element, key press, and wait. So those are ones you should know if you're into auto hotkeys. These are some very common ones. You know, this one would be like triggering a hotkey to do stuff. Uh, stuff like that. So this can even be used for not just filling out text, but maybe every time I type in Y or slash YTD, it would automatically click on edit description, place cursor at the bottom, and then insert date. So maybe my older videos, I want to put the date on or some new information. <laughs> or maybe you're playing a video game on the browser. And you need to, uh, or you want to automate something that's kind of hard to do. Maybe a fighting game where they have some type of combo. 
you could put a combo in there with mouse clicks and key presses so this is really cool don't need to know how to code so this is a great way to share something with your friends without them knowing how to adjust stuff really they can figure this out hopefully not everybody's even tech savvy enough to get past this but it's a start compared to coding so yeah let us oh and obviously you have all the different things here you know i don't know manage i want that to be bold uh then you can add like tables yeah there's a lot of stuff you can do basic stuff you can even insert an image which is kind of cool uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and I'm going to use Notepad to show you that this is a Chrome extension only. So I type slash YTD and that way you can see what I'm doing. See, nothing happens. Even if I push space, okay, nothing. Sure, let's get rid of you. Uh, let's see, where could we go uh, to do this? Probably should have had some type of tab open. Maybe I can do it right here. <laughs> So Y, T, D. Okay, it looks like it won't work inside its own program. That makes a lot of sense. So let me find a website here real quick. And apparently I'm having trouble. Oh, there. All right, sorry. That took a second. I was trying to think. Uh, paste bin, why not? That's easy enough. So here, I'm going to type in slash Y, T. And then... This I'm not going to push D yet because it's even showing you without even filling out the whole information. You can go ahead and start to recognize like, oh, he's probably about to do this. So I don't have to finish. I could click here or if I'm like, oh, I need to edit or, you know, no, I'm, I'm actually I actually want to type this because I'm doing a YouTube video with that. But I'm going to push D. So that didn't work because I probably took too long. But there we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, if you take a little too long long it does mess up a little bit <clears throat> sorry for clearing my throat so much I'm just under the weather with my allergies uh but there you go it pasted all this now there's no formatting formatting really in new paste so we lost that manage but it did insert the date so i did it here specifically to show you that some websites you can lose certain formatting you know paste bin i believe does not allow pictures so if i had to put a picture there you know whatever so I did that on purpose so that you could see that some websites, if something goes wrong, it's not you, it's not the extension, it's just the website you're on doesn't have that type of formatting, so they're kind of like, eh, and it at least reverts it back to, the, you know, that. But we still got the date in there, and anything else we had. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, find this video interesting. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, it's just something I came across, and I like sharing that kind of stuff. Uh, if you have any questions about this, something maybe I missed or you find that I didn't cover in the video that's really cool, maybe a feature I didn't even look at, let me know in the comments below. You know, Hit that like button if this is the kind of videos you guys like seeing. It lets me know what you all are trying to watch and expand on. Or if you know something that's uh, kind of comparable to this, uh, definitely let me know. I've done videos on auto management uh, control uh, extension. Uh, but I think this one's a little bit easier for simpler stuff. Auto, those are definitely some cool videos, though, to check out. Um, but yeah. All right, everybody. I will see you all on the next one.